Hello, this is Richard from Alviar. I'm going to show you how to Photoshop the floor on a 360 photo. This is also useful for blurring people's faces if you want to use your photos on things like Google Street View uh, because you need to blur, blur their faces or use their automatic blurring uh, which has a little bit less control. So uh, looking down here you can see that there's no tripod. I could have shot it from above and now there's no tripod in there and uh, the stitching is all complete. I'm going to do the stitching as a separate tutorial. This is really just looking at the finishing off, the finishing off of removing the tripod. And we do that in a Photoshop program. So something like Photoshop, Fireworks, all these different uh, programs that are available. I use something uh, in the last year or so, um, I've started to use Affinity Photo. There's loads of different reasons to use this. I really like it. It's now my go-to program. Uh, for finishing off this because it's so fast just my workflow really improved when I started to use this because I didn't need to use Photoshop and PT GUI to change the image around I can use one program for everything so let's have a look at this I'm using this image here this beautiful shop I've imported in my equi rectangular projection and uh, you can see at the bottom there's some legs of a tripod we need to remove those so what we do first of all is we need to select the layer this only works on whichever layer you've got selected. So I've only got one layer here, so I'll select the background. And then we go to the top layer, live projection, equi rectangular projection within the program itself. And we can look around the photo. Really, really powerful. Now I've chosen this photo rather than one because we've got some interesting things. This mirror, this shop has a lot of mirrors. We've got our camera in there um, and um, we need to remove that. We've also got the tripod. We need to remove that. We've also got these lines, which is, you know, they're really wavy. It's, um, it's a problem. So we need to use the clone tool or some sort of feature to remove this. Now, whilst looking down, we can actually Photoshop or we can change this image whilst looking down and then that will affect the unflattened image or the flattened image, the un, the, un, um, the unprojected image. So on the left hand side here, there's a tool very similar to the heel tool. It's next to the healing brush tool actually of the similar Photoshop name. This is called the in painting brush tool. Really, really powerful tool. Now we can affect the size of the brush here by pressing uh, control and option, go up and down to get uh, more um, edge, more feathering on our brush. And we can go left and right to get the size of the brush. So I'm going to get uh, quite a small brush here because we've got a, quite a small tri tripod and I'm going to remove um, as little of this as possible. I just want to take out the bits that I want it to removed from the picture. So I'm just filling this, I'll do the shadows as well. Now what this is going to do is it's going to take areas of the picture and it's going to try and fill those in for me. I think I just missed a bit there. I just missed that. Now first off, that's not a bad job. We've got some wiggly lines here. You might think that was okay. I think I'd probably prefer to remove these lines here and have it as blank, um, probably. Um, so we might remove these individually as a second go. Um, but it, it does look like wood. It looks really, really accurate um, for, for a first go. Now, what we would traditionally do is use the clone tool and clone different areas around there. But this is a really quick way. And if we're doing lots of panoramas over a day, this is a really quick way to do it. So now um, I need to turn off the projection. I can do that by going layer, live projection, remove projection. There we go. I can look and see what's happening on the floor. Now we need to look at these other things here. Now these are in the middle of the frame. We've got two shots of the camera. So I'll probably just zoom into that initially. Um, again, I could press space. I could do the shortcuts, but here's the camera that I used for this. Now, first of all, let's try it with the in-painting tool. So uh, if I go nice and accurately around here, see if it will remove. I haven't done this before. I don't know what it will do. That's not a bad job, first of all. Um, what I probably do is um, then use the clone tool um, with a bit of a bigger brush maybe. Um, we might put in a little bit more of this. Now I quite like Affinity Photo as well because it, it previews where it is. So if I clone um, here I can see if it matches up um, and I can, I can do that rather than have to guess. So it's really, really good for doing things like um, just And I'm pressing Alt each time to get a new sample. And then I might use the um, tool again to just tidy that up. Um, this is a reflection in the mirror. That's fine for that. Now we've got round the, on the other side as well. So I'm going to press space to go over to the other side. And we've got this down here. Now I'll give it a 
quick go with the in painting tool. I don't know whether this will work um, really quickly. It might do a good job. Uh, it's okay. And that might be okay. And um, you could be happy with that. We might want to touch it up. We could spend all day doing this with a bit of this. Um, it depends on what you want to do and how um, key the image is. Now again, we might want to blow up the edges of the image here and then take a different sample to make it look just as you want it. Might take this across here. Um, yeah, and for reflection, um, I'm happy with that. Um, that you know, that's um, that's okay for reflection. That looks. Just remove that one there. That looks okay. That looks like a reflection. I can't see the tripod in that image. Let's just check all the other images. Let's check all the other mirrors. Um, just going to scroll back. Nope, I can't see any camera anywhere else. Now, if I go to live projection again, I can just do a double check. Let's pull this into the center of the screen. Um, the ceiling was okay. Beautiful lights, beautiful window. I could change the white balance in here as well. That'd be a very sensible thing to do. Uh, but I could do that in a separate tutorial, but I think that one is okay. Now I need to turn off the projection to export this file out. If I do it like this, I will just get a screen grab of that shot there as I've set it, but I need to change off the projection because I want the rectangular version and I can export that out. I could save it over the top of the old file, but I might want to save it somewhere new. So I'll save this out. So opening up this in GoPro, Go, uh, GoPro VR player, really, really similar to how it was in Affinity Photo. This is the finished version, really, really, really similar. So just in a few steps, we've removed the tripod from the floor and we've removed it from the reflections. So we get a really clean, beautiful image, nicely white balanced for upload to Google Street View or wherever we want to use it. I hope you find this useful. If you have, please subscribe below, put any comments below and uh, make any suggestions for any future videos or any improvements that I could make. Thanks very much. I hope this was useful for you.